I was out on Sunrise trying to get some tailor on the surface lures. I was using a Richard plug and a SSM zip bait. Had no real luck with that, so I switched over to a Xerox Zeppelin. This is the first time I'd used a lure. Seemed to cast really well. It was 40 grams, and I was using a uh, six to eight kilo rod, nine foot and a 3,000 reel with 10 pound line. So 10 pound braid and I've got about 20 pound of leader. Got a nice hook up there. Unfortunately I lost it. On closer inspection the bloody tailor had bitten the lure straight off. It's gonna happen. Really annoying that was the first time I'd used that lure. At least I know it works. After losing that fish, I decided to switch over to the lighter gear. So it was just my bream rod, so 2500 Stratic, 2 to 4 kilo rod, with 4 pound braid and 8 pound leader. I think it was just a setup that I had on when I was chasing flathead a few weeks ago. It's low tide and I'm casting pretty much straight onto the reef or right next to it. As soon as I hook up, I move to my left to try and pull it away from the reef. There's a lot of skippy around there as well, so I'm always worried about getting reefed. lot more flex in these wider rods so you're less likely to lose fish but you lose casting distance. When there's good wind, calm to conditions like this and you don't have to worry about your four pound line getting caught up in seaweed, a lot of fun to use. Always got a chance of getting smoked but basically cast and lure as close to or just over the top of the reef. It's really shallow there so if I am to casting it over the reef I've got to rip it over quickly. Particularly because I've got trebles on as well. But if you stay close to the reef you're going to get results. You might lose a few lures here and there. I'm just using a Savage Gear missile. It's in I think 20 gram uh, white flash or what is probably my favourite. The pill chin and the other colours are still pretty good as well. When these snooker around, you always know that you've got a good chance of catching Skippy or Taylor as well. Not too bad on the chew, I use this one for bait. Another reel in the sand, now I remember why I don't usually take my Stratic to the beach. The largest tailor was 41 centimetres. Not too bad for the summer. I chopped them up into little fillets and marinated them with sake, 
soy sauce and brown sugar. It's basically four tablespoons of sake, one or two spoons of soy sauce and half a spoon of brown sugar. Left that for 10 hours to marinate. I'm up at the old man's place and using his Weber cube. Got the grill really hot. I'll try and get it as hot as I can so that the fish doesn't stick to the plates. Given these are pretty small fillets and I'm only cooking them a minute each side, again I always get a little bit sticky, unfortunately. If you're using bigger fillets, it's not much of an issue. This is a marinade you'd typically use for salmon, but it's really good for Taylor. I recommend it highly. This definitely tasted a lot better than it looks. Unfortunately, the wife doesn't like fish. For more Taylor and Perth Metro fishing, please subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.